Hey everybody, I wanted to talk to you about Epstein-Barr virus as it relates to breast implant illness. I was diagnosed with Epstein-Barr about a year and a half after explant surgery. And ever since then I've done some research and I've talked to many women in our community and I do believe that it is something that many women are struggling with and may not even realize it. So I wanted to give you a little bit of information. The Epstein-Barr virus is the monovirus reactivated in your body. But the fun fact is, you don't actually have to have had mono in order to have the Epstein-Barr virus. I believe about 95% of the population has Epstein-Barr, and it's just lying dormant in their system, so they may not even realize it. The, vi the virus is a virus of opportunity. So when your immune system is weak and compromised, like when you have implants or immediately following explant surgery or in my case, a year and a half after explant surgery, it sees that as an opportunity to come out and wreak havoc on your body. So some of the common, common symptoms that you'll find if you Google Epstein-Barr would be fever, fatigue, swollen lymph nodes, headache, uh, sore throat, things like that. From talking to people in our community and from my own experience, what I have noticed is we experience more uh, symptoms like weight gain, difficulty sleeping, ear ringing, heart palpitations, um, chronic inflammation, and in my case, I had severe pain and pressure in the back of my head that just wouldn't quit. So another thing about Epstein-Barr is the virus thrives on heavy metals, which is another reason why I do believe that our community of women with breast implant illness struggle with this a lot. Um, we are just exposed to way more heavy metals than someone else, and so that gives the virus also an opportunity to wreak havoc on our body. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is if you have had explant surgery and you're still experiencing some you know, symptoms that just seem to linger, like the fatigue and the inflammation, um, you know, difficulty sleeping, swollen lymph nodes, things like that, you're gonna to wanna to go for a blood test. Epstein-Barr is detected in our blood. So there's a four panel test that you're gonna to wanna to have. So when you talk to your doctor or your holistic practitioner, you're gonna to wanna to ask for your IgM to be tested, your IgG, your nuclear antigens, and your early antigens. Your early antigen is the number that will tell you if the virus has been reactivated in your body. That's the one that will tell you if it's current in your body. Um, and sometimes doctors don't test for all of them, so that's why I'm just pointing out you're gonna wanna have all those panels run. And there is treatment. Uh, I was put on antivirals. I don't often do medication, but I was walking around with Epstein-Barr for about five weeks before I did anything about it. And so I was pretty sick by the time I actually did get my test results back and um, I was a little stubborn, so I did take the antivirals because I just needed some relief. There is some holistic supplements that you can take, monolaurin, L-listine, uh, so, some things like that. So I just, I'm not gonna give you a ton of information here. I'm gonna link my website because I did a lot of research for a recent blog that I just posted, and I'm gonna post the link to that at the bottom so that you guys can just check out the blog. It has all the information there and, um, but I really just want people to know who are in the breast implant illness community, this is something that you can absolutely be struggling with, you know, while you still have your implants and after explant. So go ahead and take a look at the blog. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me through my website or through my email, which I'll put up here. And um, that's it. So look into Epstein-Barr and you guys take care of yourselves. Thanks.